Okay, so the next part of the story we're going to be doing is whatever that is, rather revolutionary. And there is a place to rest, which I don't know if that's supposed to be the next one. So I don't know if that somehow glitched itself up already or not. So we'll soon find out once we get this one done anyway, guys. So let's fast travel back here. The study is next to the room you're staying in. The furniture in there is uncovered. I was actually planning on moving most of it out to make it into a second guest bedroom. <laughs> Any day now. Well, it's probably for the best. Because this time, you're definitely not going to be able to avoid rifling through things. Nah, Mom will forgive me. I hope. <laughs> right. So, let's get to the room. Uh, so many places to hide something. Uh, take it one by one, and we'll see if anything jumps out. Ah, hold on. I'm being trolled again. <laughs> These trolls, they're a good deal less scary in miniature, no? A couple of family members were in New Zealand around the time they filmed the first movie. <laughs> well, that's nice of them. Souvenir from my great grandparents' trip to Germany. <laughs> my bisabuela was a surprisingly mean shot. Okay, so. Still amazed they got these plates over in one piece. <laughs> a big travel buff. He uh, uh he used to steal all the towels from the hotel rooms we stayed in. He'd be like, it's covered by the room fee. <laughs> he was a good man. Yeah, a bit eccentric, but uh it was part of his charm. Okay, so how about okay? What's that? This is more like it. Let me take a look. Raul Soto del Bosque. Raul Soto. R.S. Javier's little brother. Of course. I should have known. I've heard the stories a million times. They never found his body. Raul was a bit of a hothead if you'd believe the reputation he had. A young intellectual. You know the type. And Javier was the last person to see him alive. But did he go join the Villistas? Or maybe he had a target on his back. Us Sotos were a pretty influential family around here before the revolution. Javier and Raul's dad would have had the ear of the local cacique, the mayor in the pocket of the federal government. Favors for favors, you know. But then, everything was shook up. I heard that when they reported the disappearance, the police, or what was left of them around that time, practically laughed in their faces. They knew Raul better than his own family, said he was probably out fighting with some bandits. But then why would he leave his shotgun behind? And how did it end up in that logbook six feet under the ground? We're clearly not done with this mystery yet, but at least... We know the major players now. Let's try finding that shrine. <laughs> 